All right, all right, all right. I love doing that. It's the Texas thing in me. <laughs> I'm not even from here. I just think Texas. I think Matthew McConaughey. Anyway, my name is Christian Israel, guys, and you are tuned into Long Sum Short Sum. This is actually the very first section of our morning podcast called Christ and Crypto in the Morning where we have three different sections throughout the day or during this podcast that will be uploaded later. The first one is long sum, short sum, where we go over technical analysis in the market, specifically looking at different ways through Elliott wave analysis, Fibonacci retracement and extension tools, and the overall indicators to let us know technically where the market is. And that's where we are right now. And today, guys, I want to discuss with you if we're seeing topping structures and when is the end of everything when is the crash when is altcoin season when are we going to get out of here all right so i am recording already i'm going to go ahead and cut us to a bigger screen so we can see it let's see big screen here let's go ahead and fade and i'm going to switch from the top of that screen down to the bottom of your screen whoop there i am if you're just getting here please like comment subscribe hit the notification bell at the top so you can be notified when I go live. I appreciate you in that. And all your support helps tremendously. So let's see what we have going on here. We had the correction, a continuing correction falling up overnight. Let's go ahead and run through the top 10 and then we'll get into the TA. Number one is Bitcoin at $39,244. Number two, Ethereum at $2880. Number three is BNB at $399.85. At BNB working its way on up. Number four, Solana, 9670. Number five, Luna at 8695. Fall into the number six spot is XRP at 6245. And the number seven spot is Cardano at 8219. And number eight spot, look at well, we got some things moving here. Number eight overall is Doge at 14 cents flat. Number nine is Polkadot or Dot at 1660. Avalanche. Rounding out the top 10 right before the stable coin B Binance USD at sitting at $66.19. So we've had, I'm going to look at Bitcoin real quick and then we're going to dive into the overall analysis just to see where we are. I want to let you know Bitcoin came down. We have not double tapped over here from the 26th. We are ranging. I closed my short right here at 37, uh, what did I say, 38.8. It's running up closing that right there. We got out. So 39, three, 39.5 down to here, just a little $500 boom, nothing much. But now I believe we could fire back up for one more liquidity test today because that's just kind of how things seem to be working. And then maybe we can get in a short. Uh, but I'm going to look to see if I'm along this. I'll decide over the weekend. Um, Bitcoin is in that ranging. So that's all I want to talk about with that. I'm not going to go in too much details. I want to go and discuss really the stock market okay so let's start here and i want to show you guys the nasdaq yep I'll make sure we're recording everything up can you hear me on this yeah we're good to go okay so i'm going to pull all the way back for the stock market here and i want to show you some ta and just show you where we are okay this is the overall stock market from 20 from 1998 right? That's the 2000s. That's your 2000s. And that's where we are now. Okay. This line right here, that COVID. Okay. This right here, Lehman Brothers. So this is where we are with the overall market. Now you guys know on this channel specifically that I focus on what? The 4.414 right? The 4.414. And so we're going to go back and look. So this is Lehman Brothers, right? I already pointed out, this is the stock crash of 2007 to 2008 to 2009. This one, two, three, four, five move here. One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. One, two, three, four, five. And done. Okay. This happens to line up right at the 0 0.414. Okay. And there we go, the back test. So break down, reject it, did not make a new low. Come back up, test that 4.414, back up to the 0.5. Range in there for a couple months, I think for the year, almost six months. 
and then we fire up. And where's the first place we go and back test and break down? The 1 to 1 and the 1.414. But we continued on up. All the way up that we blew past the 4.414. Similar to what Ape did yesterday. And we'll go over this. Ape did this kind of got excited and extended over. And then back tested the 1.414. Okay. Important. Now. Now that I've done all that. Let's zoom up. We are working on this last part of the cycle now. And I'm going to show you. So this is the most recent, February 20. This is COVID right here. COVID was a rejection in the back test, the 1.414. Okay. That's where we were there, which is exciting. I'm excited about it. Are you excited about it? So I'll tell you why I'm excited. So this broke down. Balanced up, and we're working our way up to our targets of a possible, even if we have a blow off top, trying to go towards 20K. Now, do we get to 20K? Let's see. Let's see where our blow off top is. I'm going to zoom this on over. And on the overall move, let's look for some confluence. And I've already highlighted these things for you as I looked into it. <laughs> this is pre done already. I did this uh, last night on another live stream. That's a private live stream, but I did this last night to study and look at them. I was like, oh, I'm going to talk about this tomorrow. So one, two, three, four, five, we just finished. We're in that downtrend. And I think we're finishing our downtrend right now and the correction with the NASDAQ. I believe we are in the bottom area. 12K seems to be our bottom. Okay. And why do I say that? I say that because we have double topped. I'm sorry, double bottomed. You see this double touch right here? Yoink. Okay. That area has hit and that created that lower, uh, a fifth wave is all you need for a lower. It came a little bit lower. And that for me is a fifth wave. So the question is, is that back test done or are we going to come all the way back just a little bit more? 700 points. So why do I ask that? Because I want to see what happens today. Monday is a new Monday. Do we sell off on Monday and then Tuesday, everything fires up? This is what we're looking at. Crypto is going to be a signal for us. But overall, from this point, our 4.414 is 19,126, which will be a little bit of an over by from 1749, right? So I believe this is where our market makers are going to start selling, right here. Now, this coincides coincides with the Dow Jones. The same thing is here with the Dow Jones. Now we're in a little bit different of a pattern. However, this is the five day and this is five day week. Okay. But you can see here, this is COVID. We came back and got our whole move. So we're going to see the move possibly to the 2.414 will be a blow off top from here. Also giving us the overall topping structure from the beginning of the Dow Jones. But this is going to go all the way back to 2008, the actual correction that we had in the Dow that was the best. And to the top of that move, right, also when what? Bitcoin started, okay? Bitcoin came in in here. Yoink. Bitcoin came in right in this area. Okay, so now we've gone straight up. We had a correction, so we have what? One, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four. Now we're working on a fifth wave, or people can say um, one, two, three, four, and this is five to an extended five. However, we are finishing this up, and as you can see right here as I zoom in, We're getting that sideways move, right? Scary, scary, scary. So the question is, we are now under the 1.414. We're trying to find just the bottom. So let's go in here and just find if we can find a fun little bottom. So here's the top. Okay, now that I've zoomed in on this and then we'll get going. You can see here, and I'm going to move this to the other side so you can actually see it. We rejected up to 702, almost exactly. Let me clean this up. Let 
that's close enough. Okay, so we rejected off the 702 so far, came straight back to the 23.0.236 on the fib. So since we are here now, we're now bouncing on the butt. We have a 1.414 rejection on this move from, I told you, COVID. Okay, I should stop saying that. C19 here on its way up. So we're V bottomed up out of there. Okay, which is nice. One, two, three. We're working on wave four up out of there. And now I think we finish here with the most likely being 44.5, like a blow off top structure thinking it's going to 50,000, but that is coming, okay? So I wanna show you that, that the NASDAQ and the stock market are not done yet. In fact, I will screenshot these later to show you that we have a little bit more to go. I'm gonna do this so you can see. A little bit more to go on the NASDAQ and on the Dow Jones as we find a bottom structure, which is kinda of why I close the shorts because it's getting very, very, very bearish sentiment and the news overall. Now, why is that? Now we're gonna come over here. So this is the Dixie. And I was gonna redraw all this, but this took a long time for me to draw yesterday in this whole aspect of the chart. So this is gonna be one of these days that I am just, I'm deep diving into TA for you because we wanna know when is the bottom and the top is on the way, right? So this here is what I call the Dixie. And this is the dollar index. Now, let me take this off so you can get a good idea. The dollar index, guys, has just tapped this top high right here of 2016. Now, the dollar index is kind of going against everything. It's the value of the dollar. The higher the dollar goes, the more stocks decline. The higher the dollar goes, the more crypto declines. The higher the dollar goes, you got things like uh, gold and your safe assets rising overall. Well, maybe not today because market and gold is, uh, silver and gold is so manipulated, but nickel, but hey, Dragonfire, good to see you, brother. <laughs> I just saw you uh, give me a little shout out here. So this is where we are. So I started watching this like, man, like we're waiting and we're waiting, we're waiting. So let's break this down, okay? This area is just sideways action. You know, we got, we, we'll recall this, what are we gonna call this? Okay. This literally is just that. That's all. Range. We ranged from 15 to 16. So in a range period, that can be good for green. Green is good for Bitcoin or the altcoins, crypto. Okay. So when we range like this, it worked well. So you'll see green means that's good for crypto. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> I missed this right here. Let's do this. I completely missed that. My bad. I just noticed that I missed it too. I'm going to, uh, I didn't really include that one, but that's a range up. And so that would have been a small bear market. This is good for crypto down. Okay. As we're inside, Dixie is inside this range here. Then I'm going to do this. We work our way up. Dixie goes on up to the top of the range. Good, bad for crypto. Dixie goes down. Good for crypto. Do you see a pattern here? Dixie goes up, bad for crypto. Now we're at the top of that range. So let me extend this here like that. It's probably more realistic. Let me extend this just a little bit so we can see. We're at the top of this range. See that? Literally at the top of this range right now. And our goal is to come down. That's what we're looking at. Now, this is a minimum of here. I think eventually the Dixie is going to go much, much lower here for a short time as we run into a serious run. But for the first pull down, this is what we're going to have to see. Now, how violent is it going to come down? I'm not sure. But let's add a step here. And I want to show you, this is the Brave New Index. Oh, I see where it is. That's right here, isn't it? Where's that? Oh, yeah. Okay, I got it here. I didn't need to. All right, so this is the Brave New Index to match that. So you can see, so this is Bitcoin. Now, I know we have Bitcoin kind of running down there and then I didn't include all this, but you can obviously see Dixie going up, right? Bitcoin going down.
right? Uh, I'll go here. And we're going to turn that green. Okay? So kind of this whole thing. And what's crazy is that what kills is this whole narrative. I know we got this to this here. Okay, so I need to do this. Because there's a little little uh, red right in there. Here. Right there. Okay. It's a little red. I'm going to clean that up just a little bit for you. And now I should have, I missed this on the, uh, on the other one, but it's okay. Get a good idea. So Dixie follows across the board. The green, Bitcoin, good. Red, Bitcoin, bad. And this is brave. So you can kind of see a correlation. So we're in a downtrend now. And we, what we've seen here is little moves like this. So uh, possibly what we see just a little move on Bitcoin. It's not going to create a higher high. But it's going to come into this area. Right? Right into that area there. And finish us out. Okay? Because Bitcoin is rolling. And that's the brave new index. We see the moves for Bitcoin become dramatic. But it's getting tighter and tighter. Obviously, we're at the highs. So, let's add another level here. I feel like something just bit my foot. Okay, here's another level. This is the Bitcoin dominance. Okay, here you see Bitcoin dominance. What does Bitcoin dominance mean? It means the altcoins, Ethereum, and all that are having a higher volume in the market cap. Okay, higher volume in the market cap. And this is what is important to us to see altcoin season. Now we can see here again, we're going to follow along. Same thing. Adding to it. The Dixie is going up. Market dominance, I'm sorry, Dixie going down, market dominance also goes down because that was what? Altcoin season. Do you see that? We're going sideways. That was good for Bitcoin in a sense. Sideways action on the Dixie was good for Bitcoin. Okay. And as the Dixie goes up, Bitcoin, you can see right here, uh, the Dixie goes up. Bitcoin was still kind of traveling slowly up to that point, but it was neutral, but it's able to go. But here's the thing. When the Dixie gets to a topping point and comes down, look at Bitcoin go. Look at Bitcoin's dominance also go down. So there's your direct correlation right now. Hey, buenos dias, Alex. Let's see here. Uh, we have the Dixie going down, right? and market dominance going down here. So we're looking for a pattern is altcoin season around the corner. Now, we continue again, the Dixie goes up. You see mark, market, uh, mark Bitcoin dominance going up as well, even though Bitcoin is what? Slowly in a bear market, creeping in a bear market. It was going down, it bottomed in 18, right? And as the Dixie goes, it kind of reel up, but it's still in a a bothering Bitcoin pattern. I know we the bottom was there. However, I just want you to see the altcoins, right? Continue to go. Again, follow it on down. The Dixie starts to go down. We start to see, let's move this here. Right? We start to see it. We're just going to show it. A little pump there. Dixie comes up. Altcoins go down. And now we're at the top. Let's add one more. Told you I did some stuff. <laughs> Told you. All right. So here you go. I might do a thread on this later. If I got time, type out a thread about where everything is. Your bottom is your market cap excluding Ethereum. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Excluding Bitcoin. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Total two. Excluding Bitcoin. So this is everything else. It's the market cap, not the dominance. So you see the same correlation here? Look at that. We are in altcoin season. And I believe it starts in May. I believe altcoin season literally starts next week. That's where I am. And I'm telling you, I'm not... This, this is the TA. This is what I'm seeing. Based on that, the Dixie is at its all-time high. So our only option, guys, with the Dixie 
is if this continues to break up or like really go up because this thing is parabolic right now the dixie and i'm going to show you uh the dixie guys look at this the dixie is parabolic all the way up after a double top down here a double bottom down here whoop, whoop. and we break in and we're topping in a double topping structure so You can kind of see all this. Go ahead, peek. Here. Now I got this way. That's three day. You get a better idea right here. I know I zoom it out, but there you go. Stretch this out. Okay. So this is what we see here on this movement. So my thought process literally is all coin season is going to start in may when i don't know but i feel may is there and what is bringing that i mean look look at netflix netflix is the topping structure that was number one so where's the money going to go i think netflix is going to come at least down to 156 if not i'm not going to go to where netflix could go and this is the scary thing we're seeing markets here guys that whoo Money's got to go somewhere. And what's super low right now? All coins. High risk. No, not as high risk down here, actually, at all. XRP, we saw a call that we made finishing the move, the ABC correction here. The question is, are we going to have one more low to 58.9? And that's what I'm waiting on. Uh, I know some people are calling uh, 55 cent. 55 cent XRP. Now, I don't know if that's where we're going to see yet. I'm still paying attention. I'll let you know and update you here. But for me, the finish of this move is happening now. This technically qualifies. You see that we went lower for that ABC complex correction. So technically, guys, this is the low right now. And I'm okay with that. But I want to see if we come back down to test this breakout here. And I will definitely be looking for a trade there. Okay? So... I want to tell you that is a long sum, short sum. I really want to keep this in your mind here. The NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, looking for bottoms. At the same time, it's looking for bottoms. We're seeing the Dixie top. And come on down for the next play here. The next play here is Dixie down, back in this range. Brave new index to move up a little bit, which is Bitcoin, but not a new top. Market dominance to continue to actually go down into below into the 30s to the 25s with the market cap, excluding Bitcoin, to head back up towards $3 trillion plus. Okay, so that's what I see here. It's not a scary time if you know what's coming. A lot of people are telling you to sell bottoms here, but I think our bottom is just about in. I don't think we can go much further than this. I do believe over the weekend it will happen. And so what I mean by further than this, specifically for Bitcoin, and then I will get out of here. That's my worst case scenario over the weekend. 35,000, somewhere in that area, over the weekend. Now, do I think it's going to come all the way down there? Maybe I'll check in with some TA later. But that's my worst case scenario. And that is because we have rejected off the five and we're going to come back down here. So uh, that's the lie. My worst case scenario is here. 33,000. And I will be looking for that short to play out if that is true. Because if that is true, you know what's going on in the rest of the market. And the way that will happen will be over the weekend liquidity. So I leave you with that thought process. I leave you with the bottoms about here. All coin season will start, I think, next month. I'm excited if the Dixie doesn't fire up into the 110s. That's my caveat. Watch the Dixie. If it fires up into the 110s, that's things are really, really dumb. Now, can that happen over the weekend? I don't know. We'll see. And this is what we're following, guys. So I truly, truly appreciate you. And Make sure you do the social media thing. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know below. Do you think altcoin season is coming? Is the market going to top? Is everything crumbling down? Or are we going to work our way for one more high 
and the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ. I think the S&P is already topped, right? So are we going to see that? Are we going to see that? Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys. Remember, we're trying to get to 10 likes each episode. So if you hit that like button, share this. I really appreciate you. Uh, I guess that's the end, guys. So this is the end of Long Sum, Short Sum, and God bless. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and do the thing that people do on social media. At Twitter, at TikTok, you know, New Creation Capital. Let us know, guys. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great day. Later, guys.